Children in schools and in daycares already need a lot of vaccinations. A bill in Richmond could add a few more to the list. It would require students to have every vaccine the CDC recommends. Allison Basil is here to let us know what we may be able to expect from this. Allison. Yeah, right now the Department of Health requires nine vaccines and delicate Patrick Hope in Northern Virginia wants to expand that list. He sponsored House Bill 1090 and a pediatrician at CHKD says it'd be better if it included one more shot, one that may be the most important of all. Pretty soon the vaccinations students in Virginia have to have could go from nine to 13. You know, it might be something good for that child, might not be for the other child, but why take a risk? House Bill 1090 would make the minimum requirements line up with the CDC's recommended list of vaccines. That means vaccines for hepatitis A, HPV for males, meningococcal and rotavirus would be added to the Virginia Department of Health's current list. I would appreciate people getting <laughs> vaccinated and getting their kids vaccinated just to help keep everyone safe. A lot of parents in Hampton Roads agree with that, but definitely not all of them. Virginia Wasserberg doesn't think the state should have to fall in line with the CDC recommendations. I don't believe that a distant lawmaker should be forcing chemical health care on any children. Dr. John Harrington is a pediatrician at CHKD. He says the recommendations make sense. Public health is to prevent infections to other people. It's not just yourself. And so when you start thinking about public health, you really have to start thinking about the, you know, the population as a whole. The bill makes allowances for religious and medical exemptions that already exist. It doesn't make the flu shot mandatory, but Harrington thinks it should. And that's the number one thing that they're most likely to get harmed from, which is the flu. And, and that's the number one thing that people most likely are not going to get. The bill passed the House of Delegates. Wasserberg hopes it doesn't become law and interfere with her parenting decisions. I know what's going on with them, and I know much more than the CDC does about my kids. And the bill passed through the Senate's Finance and Appropriations Committee on Wednesday. Nicole?